Hi, everybody, on a very serious edition of NSFW, we're joined by Brett the Amtrek around Zaville as we pitch four, yes, four brand new Twitch shows. We're pitching them. Also, we're joined by Mike of Get Set Go for a very serious music performance. It's all coming up on this very serious edition of NSFW Show. Netcasts you love from people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW episode 96 for October 3rd, 2011. Twit ain't nothing but pitches and shows. This episode is brought to you by Squarespace.com, the fast and easy way to create a high-quality website or blog. For a free trial and 20% off your new account for six months, go to Squarespace.com and use offer code NSFW. Damn! Enjoy your company. We enjoy your hosting. I'm, I'm highly suspicious of whatever's coming next. <laughs> so we at Twit uh, came together and we got you a gift. And so I want to go get it and bring it to you. Okay. Um, it, it can help you. It can help uh, your family. It can help your family. Family. Uh, so let me. I'm gonna go get it. You stay here. Okay. Uh, I'm giving it eighty twenty of this ending badly. I have no idea what's what's about to happen, but I know that. What the heck is this? So. Oh my god. <laughs> so I just want to point out this is this is not. These are boner pills. <laughs> This is all boner stuff. <laughs> so this isn't this the isn't greatest just... day of my life. Yeah. All right, go 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 go. <laughs> and just like that, Woo! it is go time for NSFW, the new show full of wind, the new oh, sauce for the Webernets, the show that is nominally safe for work. I'm your host, Brian Brush, who joined as always by the head in a box, one Justin Robert Rubles the third. What is going on, Professor J R Y? Uh, don't you know it's hot out here for a bride? <laughs> uh, you are. Uh, I've listened. The contents of those pills are what I feel in my heart soul for this particular episode. Not only am I on my new set inside my own room, but we have two of my favorite people in the world together in studio the on the mothership at Petaluma, uh, Brian Brushwood and Chad, who is doing the switching. <laughs> I'm really, and he was in the opening video, I'm really glad that Chad's I'm, I'm so glad that I'm here, too. <laughs> you thanks, you thanks. need to go die in a fire, Justin Robert Young. Of course, we've got and Brett also, the Ram yes. Trekker Ounceville here. Uh, he, uh, first of all, uh, before we even get started, can we get a quick update? You came walking in, and you flashed my face with your awesome pictures. And oh, these little mind. things? Yeah, first of all, if anyone doesn't remember, uh, Brett Rounceville came in with his Kickstarter, and uh, we made a dream come true. Wrote live on NSFW as we crossed over the $5,000 mark, which meant you, you could fund your comic book the provider and these are the original a inked pages pies, yes a we don't want to give too much away though let's pick a good page but you're going to pick that. one let's good go, page that, that won't, page, won't yeah. spoil everything okay i don't know if we got the over the shoulder cam over here but uh the uh the artwork is exquisite i keep looking up hoping that here you, can, you can't see it there but hopefully we'll change there we go you could see the uh the the artwork is exquisite we were just talking about how bruno you're not going to have bruno forever i mean he's obviously got success written all over him oh and, that guy has far more skills than i have for sure well and so where's where's he you said he's interviewing at some big names he uh yeah i don't think he wants anyone talking about it but yeah. uh right now like right now he's studying at pixar he was chosen as like one of eight people to do character development with them for like a semester so he is actually in the city he's from brazil i've still never met him he slept at my Wait. house two nights and i will meet him for the first time tomorrow when i pick up the last <laughs> Of the inked pages. That's a bit. So wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. He sleeps in the place. You don't see him. You wake up and there's like gifts just suddenly there. Was, there. Uh, there was literally a sketch. Yes. I came in. I flew <laughs> back a sketch in from like of me North sleeping Carolina. with hearts yes, exactly. around. Was, and you just you had had Brazilian smell all over your pajamas. It, was, <laughs> it like, reeked of Rio like de Janeiro a, all through the house. Yeah, all the magic it of Rio. Like feathers and uh, meat. <laughs> that's, right. that's your full knowledge of Brazil, isn't it? Feathers <laughs> exactly. and meat. That's all you could get. 
Uh, okay, look, here's the important Dried thing. Dried vomit on the streets of Rio. <laughs> <laughs> here's the important thing. Wait, didn't they have, like, in Brazil, like, the Google uh, the Google Street View just kept catching corpses all over <laughs> on the street? Did you, did I, I make this up? Like, like. No, that's you perfect. Do, We've got it now. Hey, Feathers, meat, and corpses. What more do we of, need? Of, uh, no, I, Chat room will have a link to this. Campaign for you to slander Brazil. Okay, hold on. I'm not slandering. I could have sworn Brazil it was in. Constantly. I could have sworn it was in Brazil. Wait, hold on. Was... No, Brian, didn't you tell me there was that one time that you can't go to Brazil and not have a child murder? Okay, right? okay, <laughs> stop, stop. And no, no and we're out. about Brazil, and it certainly would be something to add to your Wikipedia. Uh, ladies and <laughs> gentlemen, look over my shoulder. It's a flying shark. No. No, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. 30 minutes of this shark flying all around the studio. I get it a bind, and that's the one moment you can't be bothered to press the button to make the dang thing fly. All right, screw you guys. Uh, uh, listen, Justin, what, what's, what is going on what today? What shark is he talking about? <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about at all. <laughs> Go on, what are we talking about? Go. Well, Boner Pill McGee, we're <laughs> going to pitch shows to twit. Listen, you guys are in the studio. Uh, if we can maybe, uh, one of the cameras on the jib, if you can you know, take a look throughout uh, the gigantic cavernous uh, uh, spacious area they have there. Uh, we want to help twit achieve its goal of being a 24-hour tech news network. We got right? so much space. We got all these different sets, and we're physically here. You got me. You got you got Brett. And I think we were thinking that we this is too good of an opportunity to pass up. We've got to put together some compelling content that's gonna boom kick Twit up to that next level. That 24-hour must-watch station. Absolutely. So we got a few pitches that we want to pitch right to Twit. We're gonna make a little sizzle reel, so uh, so we can show them our ideas. What we want is shows that are hosted by Brian and Brett, and I'm going to be the guest on each show. Um, we have a few Man, ideas. A... What, what just happened? What now? Somebody. Is me? No. Uh, Man, I'm, that's I'm... a crazy-ass shark. <laughs> 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 and now, see, that's the proof. There was a flying shark here earlier. <laughs> Look, was... we, have, we have some pitches. They're going to leave the twit press saying... <laughs> man, that's a crazy ass shark. <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh man, there are gonna be ass sharks all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's start the pitches, bitches. What are we doing? All right, the first one that we're gonna do uh, is obviously, uh, Brian. This show's a failure. <laughs> <laughs> not in our hearts. Not not where no, it matters. Not in our hearts. In um, but cold, everywhere. Hard statistical. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I beg your pardon. Chat realm is mighty, and they'll not stand to be told that. Brian, we're terrible. And we only <laughs> kept on for uh, I, what I assume is insurance reasons. <laughs> Propped okay. up by chat realm. Um, Brian. Man. Is there something behind us? Shark. <laughs> that's, there's definitely a flying shark. Uh, oh, no, don't, look, don't lose focus. This is, your, this is your test. Come on. Focus. Focus. Okay. Okay. Uh, so the reason why our show sucks is because we don't talk about tech, okay? Enough. We just we just do a, we do a bunch of random poo. Okay. And everyone's like, oh, this is terrible. I don't want to watch it because you're not talking about formats. You're talking about technology. And so right. what we want to do is carve out a little niche for ourselves. Right now, no one's on it. Ladies and gentlemen, this week in LaserDisc. Yes. Yes. I think we're on to something, kids. Uh, okay. Look, we, we, okay. So where, where do we want where, where do we want to, to do this? You want to do this on this set because we got all these other Your sets. Set. Your right. set, right? Let's start here. All right, you got it. We're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna go around. We're gonna hop set the set. Okay, it's right. gonna be good because no one is doing this right okay, now. Okay, no, this is good. This is good. It's an unmet demand. Uh, now, obviously, we gotta have. Uh, we got you know the two of us will be the hosts, right. obviously playing ourselves. Uh, Justin, since you're skyping in, makes sense that you should be the guest. What uh, what are you gonna go for on the guest angle here? Uh, I think my name is going to be um, Steve McTilly Tutor. <laughs> Mc I am Tilling Tutor. McTilling Tutor. How, how many tutor. L's? Yep. All right. Uh, there's at least four L's. I have no yeah. idea where they go. Okay. Um, and then uh, what I, I am? I am a specialist in laser disc eBay watching. <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> 
There's Tilly Steve Tooler. McTilly Tooler. <laughs> <laughs> With an extra now, L on. at the end. All right, so, so, so you guys um, figure out how you're going to do the intro. I'll be right back. Uh, okay. okay. All right. Uh, listen. So first of all, uh, we we got our opening graphic. We're all set, and right. I know that Chat Realm's hard at work on the other intros for here. I say we come in hard hitting, sort of how Tech News Today has their news views, where it's just like yeah, boom, just wait, let's jump into what's big, hot about laser discs exactly, right now. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Okay. I'm ready. <clears throat> I'm going to give uh, Justin just a second here. Uh, Chad, leather, why don't you go ahead and take leather. my laptop, and we'll go ahead and crank this thing in three, two, one. <laughs> and a half. And just like that, it is go time for Twill. This week in LaserDisc, I am your host, Brian Brush, with joined as always by this random hobo, the Amtrekker. What is going on? Mr. Brett Rounceville. Things are great, Brian Brushwood. I am indeed Brett Rounceville, and you are here for This Week in Laserdisc. What is new and hot this week, Brian Brushwood? Obviously, the big news is all about the Blu-ray discs and the fact that uh, the new fancy-schmancy uh, Blu-ray Star Wars business up there, a bunch of changes, exciting stuff. No word yet on when it's coming to Laserdisc, Brett. No word at all, huh? Again. <laughs> no. Again, no word then, huh? Hey, remember, uh, remember uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark? And the laser disc was so good, you could see the reflection on the Cobra. Uh. And then, like, because uh, he had the plexiglass right. between him and the Cobra. Yeah. There was and that was, thing with uh, Roger Rabbit and, like, that one frame where you get a little look at uh, Jessica. Oh, that's right. That was, yeah. a, that was a really good one, too. Maybe we should move on to our guest. Yeah, no. Uh, special guest, uh, we are joined by uh, Rip Enthusiast. <laughs> For laser disc, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, it's Steve uh, McGillitwiddle. Tiller Mc Turtle. McGillitwiddle. Hi. <laughs> hey, buddy, Hi, how you doing? Brian, Brad. Hey, you? hey, Steve, how have you been? Hey. <laughs> been how a are you big doing? week in laser disc. It's always a big week <laughs> in in laser disc. I love laser discs. Hey. Right. Have you guys watched any good laser discs lately? Well, we were just talking about we were talking about how some people they don't like the changes in the Blu-rays, so they took laser discs because laser discs are analog, not digital. They were able to upsample them and sort of recreate what was great about the old prequel or the old trilogy, the original trilogy of Star Wars, without any of the crazy changes. Right? How awesome is that? That's laser discs in the news in 2011. Steve. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> I've been watching eBay listings. Footloose went for three dollars today. Oh my gosh! Now is wow. that is that uh, is that up or down from where we last saw Footloose? About the same. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, any other? Uh, what's the biggest mover in the uh, laserdisc market? There's been a lot of standby me's on the market. I yeah. would recommend. Bidding. So, so does that for mean there's a lot of pent-up demand for Stand By Me? Are we going to see an uptick in the market of Stand By Me? No, I think prices will stand pat <laughs> by themselves. Near you? <laughs> I see what you did there. Always a jokester, that's Steve. Oh, Steve McTillo Turtle Turtle. turtle, turtle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's always a jokester. Uh, hey, let's go to our big segment, which was Remember When. What, where were you the day... Empire Strikes Back on Laserdisc dropped. I was doing <laughs> Steve? That <laughs> sounds like a fun time, Brett. I remember where I was when Empire Strikes Back came back. I was sitting at a restaurant at a local Denny's in Longwood, Florida, and someone said, hey, Steve, Empire Strikes Back's here. And I said, I want to go watch it on Laserdisc. <laughs> well, Steve, get ready to enter the twilled uh, time machine because guess who's here? Dun, 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 dun. That's right. On Laserdisc. 
laser disc. It's none other than the Empire Strikes Back in all its beautiful <laughs> analog, two-sided, two-sided laser disc glory. Oh. Woo! This has been a hot week in laser disc. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, it's hey, it's moments Brian. like these. It's Who moment needs boner pills when you got that? <laughs> Uh, let's take a look at some of this beautiful art. Let me, give me the over-the-shoulder cam here. Uh, my goodness, it does bring back memories. When you look at, at Billy D. Williams and, and a very young uh, hey, Harrison it's Solo. Hey, it's Jones and the black guy. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it, it sure is. Uh, it was a magical day in um, whatever year this was. That, oh, uh, look, and then there's the walkie thing. <laughs> Well, the, and there's lady with the white pants. <laughs> yes. So, so and, am I correct, Steve? The hobgoblin. <laughs> the hobgoblin. hobgoblin. Is, is there. Oh, so, Steve, am I correct in understanding that you're more of a fan of the idea of laserdisc than actual laserdisc films? Do you watch movies at all, Steve? Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, boy! We uh, we could reminisce all day long, but I'm afraid there's so much news. Uh, we're about to, we're about out of time, as you know. Here on Twit, we have 24 hours of programming, which means we got to wrap things up. Where can people follow you, Steve? I can follow me. I'm Steve McTillinger. <laughs> you can follow me on in my mailbox. <laughs> you can send me mail. <laughs> At Steve McPillar Tutor, P.O. Box 48923, Suburban Wisconsin, 42889. All right. Thank you very much, Steve. <laughs> and that's it for this episode of This Week at Lazy Discs. Uh, join us next week. We'll be talking about which, what's the best way to steal your friend's Blu-rays and swap them out with Lazy Discs when nobody's paying attention. See you next week, people. Till then, stay lasery. Stay shooting with your. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, oh, so far, off to a good start. Yes, I gotta tell I you, feel, I'm feeling like we're batting a thousand. Oh man. <laughs> I, I derived an unnatural amount of pleasure from seeing Justin's face <laughs> and I busted out the laser disc for the Empire Strikes Back. And that, wow. was, that was all Burke. Like, I picked that, that thing out of the blue and Burke comes walking over like this. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> the, the comedy no. God smiled upon us. Want to know what? True, actual true fact, that is the first Star Wars anything I ever saw was... was Empire Strikes Back on Laserdisc. <laughs> you you realize that, that we're getting real now with your real affection for Star Wars Laserdisc. Oh, no, seriously, now. yeah. It's, this is, <laughs> hi, my name is Justin Robert Young. I play Steve McCoon, too. Um, <laughs> Laserdisc. In reality, I do like Empire Strikes Back, and I know that Harrison Ford and Billy D. Williams are actors, not Indiana Jones and the Black Guy. <laughs> <laughs> Just minutes ago. <laughs> All right, what, uh, what, what, uh, what do we want to do next here? We got, we got multiple sets here. We got multiple opportunities, multiple shows that we can go with. What do you want to do? Okay, uh, here's what we're going to do is we're going to move sets. Um, uh, Chad, what are we set up for next? Which set? Uh, bro. Bro. We are set up for the living room set next. Okay. Gotcha. So we're going to do a show, an interview show called uh, What Were You Thinking? And so much in the same vein as triangulation has Leo and Tom interviewing some sort of gigantic tech luminary that has made a positive contribution uh, of legendary proportions to this field. You guys are going to be interviewing abject failures. Uh, and I am going to be one of, of those abject failures. Uh, it, now, now, hang on. As far as intros, though, we, we, uh, we don't have an intro for that one ready to go. We do have our Twitter <laughs> gossip show ready to rock. Oh. Okay, uh, Chad, can we, sure. can we call a squarespace.com change of plans? Yeah, let's do it. The TNT set? Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. Well, then, then we're going to be doing a show uh, called Twa Gossip. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Twa Gossip. Uh, yes. And unfortunately, okay, I'm, I'm moving over there right now. I'm sorry. Uh, you're going to have to play it yourself okay, on your so side, Chad. Okay, here's the deal. Here's the deal. Uh, uh, Twa Gossip is a, uh, a show um, designed by people who have never been to the internet, 
um, about how much people love celebrities on Twitter. So uh, this is where um, we're actually going to be relying on the chat realm is we need to, by the way, people are saying, does it stand for this week in gossip? No, <laughs> it stands for Twitter gossip horribly put together. Uh, now, on um, this one, if it's okay, Justin, since, uh, since Brett managed to sit down in the pole position, he's in Tom Merritt's seat. Uh, if you don't mind, I'll, I'll play color commentary on this. I'll be the wacky sidekick. You can run point on this, and you'll be our guest, right? Yes, I will be, I will be the guest. <laughs> By the um, way, thank goodness you have a microphone in front of your television face <laughs> that, <laughs> that you can talk into. Uh, check, check, check. Can you guys hear me? Am I coming in hot? Yeah, no, no, you're sounding great. Hello. You sound great. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> Hello. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Ex explain the rest of the, of the pitch here. Uh, all right. So the pitch is that we are going to be uh, reading uh, tweets from celebrities. So we need the chat realm to help us out and uh, just find whatever random, like not celebrities that you guys care about, like that are actually talented, like Jonathan Colton or Felicia Day or, or <laughs> friends like Veronica Belmont or Tom or anything. You want, we want to find like, like mainstream stupid celebrities like Britney Spears and uh, Lil Wayne and people like that uh, that have these gigantic followers but tweet nothing but inane stuff. You guys are going to keep sending us that and we are going to read it like it's breaking goddamn news. Okay, all right. Now, now and you as the guest, uh, first of all, you, you're not Steve McGill Twiddle. Uh, no, no. Steve McTillatooter <laughs> is not going to uh, be there. I don't know who I'm, I'm going to be. Uh, uh, you guys have any suggestions on, on who? Uh, uh, I, I would like you guys to... want a book. Well, it has now, to be I'm someone. Dream booking. It has to be someone with a really hip name who is clearly clueless. Uh, so it has to be like a Max or a Chip. Yes, uh, Max Chip Chip How about Room. Max Chip. Max, Max Chip. Chip. Max <laughs> Chip. Also, your uh, your character is a thinly veiled Billy Day Williams uh, impersonation. Okay. Billy D. Williams. Right. Max, Max Chip. Max Chip. <laughs> Max Chip. Get yourself ready. <clears throat> Oh my gosh, exciting and toward gossip. <laughs> uh, are we ready on the tech? We got the chat room here. We're able to read all these as they come on in. Here we do go. We, do we have the opener? Uh, yep, yeah, we got the opening. All right, tell me when you're ready, Chad. We'll count you in. Are you going to run with it? Yes. All right, in five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Wait, and, and pause. And. All right, welcome to the internet's hottest pop culture gossip show. We are all about Twitter. We are all about gossip. That is why we are Twa Gossip. You got that right, Brett Rouseville. <laughs> I am here, as always, of course, with my co-host, Brian Brushwood, the most exciting man in the pop culture world today. Brian? <laughs> Something about Monica Lewinsky. <laughs> yes, he has all sorts of hot facts up in this hood, yo. And today, our special guest, as always, Max Chip. <laughs> Max Chip, what's up? What up, Hello, yo? ladies. <laughs> How you doing? It's me, Max Chip. Ready to get into some Twitter gossip. <laughs> you mean, Twitter gossip? <laughs> oh, you someone said it. <laughs> oh, you got me good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Max, who are we looking at first today? Who's up on the chopping block at Twa Gossip? Well, we got some hot Twa Gossip right now. <laughs> that fine piece of woman, Britney Spears, has said that she loves pizza. <laughs> oh, snap. Brian Brushwood, what are your thoughts? <laughs> uh, well, it's obvious that when you tweet like that, you can't tweet from anywhere but the heart. It's got to be a true, sincere love of pizza, and I, for one, would be watching the stocks when it comes to Pizza Hut, Papa John's, and even DiGiorno's. Brett? I agree. Those kind of fanfares from Britney Spears himself is going to do nothing but drive pizza stock up into the stratosphere. Max, who do we got next? Whoa, 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 whoa. We got some breaking news from Lil Jon. It seems as if the crunk rapper is going fishing in Vidalistock, Russia. He adds, yeah! 
<laughs> Clearly the words of a man that loves his fishing. Brian? Oh, let me tell you, man, if I, was, if I could go back in time and buy stock in Russia, I would have <laughs> already bought it. That's true. Words like that from a man like that is going to do nothing but send the stocks of fish up into the stratosphere. Yeah! Max, who else do we have? <laughs> oh, I'm glad you asked, Brett, because I got some twasop. Oh, that You ass. mean twa gossip? <laughs> I, I thought that's what I said. <laughs> Don't make me say it twice. <laughs> Lady Gaga says... I just got my little monster stuck on the side of my leg. Mmm, girl. When you gonna stop playing? <laughs> this is intense, Max Chip. We're getting into some hard-hitting news now, Brian Brushwood. What do you think she meant by little monster? I don't know. <laughs> Another insightful commentary from Brian Brushwood. Little monster in the, in the parlance of Lady Gaga can do nothing. But send, but send monster stock straight up into the stratosphere. <laughs> you got it right. I already bought it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sell my Monster Bash album on eBay. <laughs> if we can find that on Laserdisc, we're set for the gold. Max, what are your thoughts? It looks as if Kim Kardashian is pulling up the rear in this segment. And I you mean, mean to a Max gossip? That's what I like to call that dude cheek monster she keeps out below her back. My little to gossip. Yeah. She writes, no boo with no boo. Just a fam tonight. It's a family tradition amongst the Kardashians. And I, for one, for it. Mmm. And what was the character count on that, Max Chip? I'm going to say this one weighs in at 97 characters. 97 characters. That is a new record for Miss Kardashian, if I'm correct. Am I correct, Brian Brushwood? <laughs> oh, man, I can't even count that high. If I could buy stock in characters, I would. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, gang. It looks like that bound does it for this week of Twa Gossip. Max, do you have anything to pitch? <laughs> yeah. I'd like to pitch my MySpace page <laughs> at chip at myspace.org. If you're not there, you're not at my MySpace page. <laughs> you're somewhere else. I love you. Oh, that does it for us, Brian Brushwood. Oh, man, this is the best week ever. You mean twa gossip? <laughs> <laughs> Take us out, Chad. Oh, God. Whew. Who came up with these names? <laughs> you mean Twagasa? <laughs> it's, here's, a, here's a fun fact. Uh, Justin and I actually argued about whether or not it should be Twagasa or Twasup for right. about half an hour last night. <laughs> well, and then yes. the way you settled it was awesome, though, right? Well, we decided that the difference between the two was that Twasup would be thought up by somebody who knew about Twitter but was dumb and untalented. But what gossip would be thought up by somebody who has never been to Twitter and was probably the boss who walked in on the brainstorming meeting and just said, what if we call it Twa gossip. <laughs> and everybody was like, oh, dude, that's great. That's a that's great, great idea. Oh, no, yeah, that's brilliant. Oh, man, we no, that's right on. Actually, what they did was they went... <laughs> Wait, by the way, that's I, like that's, I like that I that's your want... idea of what a co-host is, despite working with Justin and I both often while we're sitting <laughs> next to you. How often do you see either Justin or I spin around in a circle and dance with our in arms? In my perspective, here. it's like me is all something, something, witty insight. And then it's like, <laughs> woo! Something, something, witty insight, terrible dancing. <laughs> By the way, I like that also when you couldn't think of a witty insight, it was just like, let's just skip right to the dance. <laughs> what do you think about that? Anything? Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I could say something, but I can't think of a joke. <laughs> no, it's, it's you got to clap, spin around, sloppy Michael Jackson. <laughs> and if you can knock something over in the process, bonus points to you. I have definitely hit my knee five times. <laughs> I don't know how oh, wait, Sarah's able to do that. Is editing right behind you? Yeah, no, that's, that's Jason. <laughs> Jason is definitely Jason editing. Jason actually editing? <laughs> yes, right, right here. <laughs> uh, what's going on? Where did you come from? <laughs>
That's to a gossip. <laughs> <laughs> you mean to gossip? Uh, okay, look. Before we go to, to our final uh, uh, final segments, uh, we we actually should pay some bills here. While I mop. Yes. Apparently, I worked up quite a sweat <laughs> with my dancing. <laughs> I'll just uh, let me just borrow this this monkey here. Oh, I am but a simple southern podcaster, but I do I'm believe. I'm but a simple southern monkey hoarder. <laughs> uh, seriously, no. Who who pays for this this noise? All right. Um, there is a place of legend that is known for everlasting life. 14 golden swords and an army of children that know how to open the blood river. It's a small village in South America named Squarespace. What, uh, no. Not all of that is a lie. No, it's true. No. Yeah, it's a it's lie. true, though. No. Yeah, no. Okay, listen, Justin, I understand that we take some liberties with our ad reads, but you got to realize you cannot make up patently false things about our advertiser Squarespace. Squarespace is a way to get your blog portfolio or any kind of website hosted using distributed servers so that it won't get taken down no matter how popular it gets. The pages look great because they have templates that are built in and the best part is, is that you could start off with a two-week free trial just by heading over to squarespace.com slash NSFW, build a page, even if it's a joke page, they don't even care, they won't even ask you for a credit card. And then the best part no, is... No, Brian, Brian, you have to steal the ten plates of the weeping mother to trade the hobo to get into the golden gates of the... Why do you got to bring me into this? <laughs> yeah, no, no, yeah. you're not... This, there's no hobo. I mean, we have a hobo here, but, but there's no hobos at Squarespace. Yeah. It's a hobo... Oh, no, 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 no. I don't mean somebody who's a vagrant. He's a guy named Hobo. He lives <laughs> in South America. Oh, Hobo Miller. Okay, hobo I'm sorry. Hobo Miller. Yeah, I totally, I totally if I have a boy, I, I want to name him Hobo so bad. <laughs> hobo Brushwood? Hobo Willie Brushwood. <laughs> Willie, <laughs> hobo, hobo Willie Caboose Brushwood. I hope he runs. I hope he runs for president, and he's H Willie Brushwood. <laughs> and then, like, like the uh, if he's a, if he's a Democrat, all the conservatives are like, oh, hobo Willie Brushwood. They're like, oh, yeah. why you guys say his full name? <laughs> uh, all right, so here's the deal, um, folks. What I said about Squarespace being a place with the river. That's only 10% true. It's also a place where you can get awesome website hosting, and you can have a website that will never, ever, ever go down, unlike your ex-girlfriend. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. That... <laughs> Use promo code NSFW10 when you decide to sign up at Squarespace.com. Now, you guys might be thinking that uh, the 10 is just useless. Like, why 10? Why can't it be a million? But I'm here to tell you there's a reason why it's 10. It's because uh, we have reached 10 on a scale of hilarity for these reads. <laughs> and so we're going to go up one notch for every other notch of hilarity that we do. Also, it means you're better than the people who use all the other numbers. So if you use it and somebody else used like seven, you can be like, P.U., Summer <laughs> seven. What's up? You stick. Oh, yeah, no. Seven was the number to use in July. It's October now. We're all about the tens. Recognize. Yeah. Hey, perfect. wait. Why are we suddenly sitting in a living room? What? Well, Brian, we are. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you mean to a gossip? <laughs> uh, no, Brian, it's because we're here on the set of our new show. What were you thinking? <laughs> well, uh, okay, so, so sell me on this. How, how does this fit into the twit lineup? Okay, so Triangulation is a show that's on Twit right now that already covers, does a great job of having two fantastic personalities and interviewers in Leo Laporte and Tom Merritt interviewing luminaries in technology. People who have really, really, really made a difference in life and popular culture by their work in technology. We're talking about wanted... game changers, people who will be remembered yes. for years to come for their successes in all different fields. Like John Perry Barlow, I know was on, uh, on it before, and, and all sorts of just, just super, super legendary people. What we want to do is the opposite. We're counter-programming. They got that covered. Right. We're going to do a show with abject failures, people who took big risks and had their lives ruined because of it. <laughs> All right. And just to be clear, uh, Brian and I, where do we fall in the category of abject failure? No, no. You guys are legendary interviewers. Oh, ah, oh and are <laughs> All right. We are a little uh, bit worried there for a second. 
an abject failure of a guest. And the guy you're going to be interviewing is named um, Mike <laughs> Schoenfelder. Schoenfelder. Uh, and, he, and he got $50 million in 2006 to start MonitorFire.com. They sold monitors that unfortunately, due to a defect, actually lit on fire <laughs> when they at people's houses. I'm, I'm sorry. So, uh, what, what, what was the, I understand the effect was that they had monitors that actually caught I, fire. I think this is a question for Mike. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm sure. so sorry. Mike. Yes, that's, yes. That's true. That's true. All right. Um, I don't know if we have it. Do we have it? Do we have an opening? Mike, Mike Scho 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 Schadenfreude? Schadenfelder. Scharnfelder. Scharnfelder. Okay. Right. Yeah, Sharn Felder. <laughs> Got gotcha. you. Put Monitor my uh, legendary interviewer <clears throat> voice on. <clears throat> yes. <clears throat> All right, here we go. All right, now I'm gonna take me off the screen. Red leather, yellow leather. <laughs> cinnamon, cinnamon. The stories of our lives, the things that shape our future. <laughs> the people who have made the jokes that we tell at parties possible, these are the things that we want to ask them, what were you thinking? I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, joined, as always, by my inimitable co-host, H. Willie Hobo, Brett Ranseville, M. Trekelson, the fifth. How are you, H? <laughs> I'm doing great, Brian. Uh, we have a very special guest today. We have a one Michael Schadenfreudenfelder. Maybe you've heard of him. He was uh, responsible for 2006 $50 million round for Monitor Fire. Uh, now, Monitor Fire sounds like, uh, well, a social disease that a monitor might catch. <laughs> <laughs> You're a clever one, Mr. Brushwood. <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> No, no, actually, it's for a business that raised $50 million in 2006. Right, and I assume that he went on to have a groundbreaking new program by which he made possible cheaper, more effective, brighter monitors that became successful all over the planet, yes? Well, not quite, but maybe he's the one to tell this story. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a warm... Uh, were, were you, what, what were you thinking? What, welcome. Well, what welcome? Oh. A warm well, what welcome to Mike Schauder Frozen <laughs> Felder. Felder. Hi, Brian. Mike. Brian, Fred, how are you doing? Good, Mike. How are you? I'm fine. You, uh, <laughs> you, you, um, you're calling us from your bed, are you? I, I haven't really done much. I just kind of lay in my bed. Why don't, why don't you tell us the story of Monitor Fire? How did you get started back in 2006? $50 million, that's a pretty big round for an untested, unproven product. Um, I had an idea of when I was in college. I was like, hey, where does everybody get monitors from? So I figured I'd... I knew a guy who was like, hey, I'll make your monitors. So I said, I'm going to buy, I'm going to sell these monitors to people. And then when they got to the places, they exploded. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, it sounded, Mike, uh, like, like you said you wanted the monitors to explode on, on delivery? Uh, well, I mean, not all of them, but I figured, <laughs> you know, some of them would be like a publicity stunt. No, publicity is bad publicity, wait, so, right? So you did want some of the monitors to explode on delivery? Well, no, we wanted all of our monitors to explode with savings <laughs> and value, and they didn't all explode. You didn't explode, did you, Bessie? No, you didn't. Uh, Beautiful for daddy. Does that make Betsy a failure then? Uh, no. You, who are you? <laughs> Call Betsy a failure. You're a failure! I think, Mike, before we get too far off topic, we do have one very important question for you. What, what were, were you thinking? thinking? Fires that comes out of monitors were a metaphor? For fire? <laughs> I, Mike, correct me if I'm wrong, Brian. A metaphor can't be a metaphor for itself. No, 
Well, as long as it doesn't say like or as, because that's it's. I always got mixed up. Like or as is a simile. I think right. he's using it right because he didn't well, say no, like no, or no, as. No, but uh, but he's saying the object is its own metaphor. Uh. No. Fire is a metaphor for fire? Yes. No, because he didn't say like or as. I don't understand the question. I thought a metaphor, once again, correct me if I'm wrong, but doesn't it have to lie? I, I thought that used to be it, but then Ozzy Osbourne rhymed masses with masses, and then it was like, okay, well, if that's a rhyme, the metaphor can be the thing. You may be right. We need to get Ozzy on the show. <laughs> and ask him, what, was he what were you thinking? <laughs> uh, Mike, uh, what are you up to today? Sleeping. <laughs> Do you have any big new projects coming up? Um, in the next 15 minutes, I'm probably going to pee in a cup I have by the bed. <laughs> and then I'm, <laughs> after that, I might go to sleep. All right. Well, we hope you enjoyed this episode of What Were You Thinking? Join us next week when our special guest will be none other than... <laughs> I'm blanking. What's Ozzy Osbourne. Ozzy Osbourne. Yes, absolutely. Uh, we'll see you next week and ask you, what were you thinking? I think that could actually make a very fascinating show. <laughs> <laughs> There's the explosion. <laughs> exploded. Oh, wait. Oh, the clever, Chad. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, uh, man. Do, do we have time for our last show? Or are, we, are we up against our heart out? We got to get our music guest on? Uh, Chad, do we have a music guest? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me check. Uh, so far... Got to say, this like week at LaserDisc, strongest contender by really? far. I really oh. like this one. I think you can get someone like the guy that starred Color on there and have a really interesting conversation about <laughs> failure. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. The problem is, like, my brain, when I said, join us next week, where our guest will, will be, and I swear, like, 85 awesome names popped into my brain. And, and I was like, not failure. willing to say it on the record. Oh, not willing yeah. to say it on the record. Not willing to say it on the record. Not willing to say it on the record. <laughs> 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 panic, Don't panic, you need panic. To a musical guest? <laughs> uh, oh, by the way, uh, Sarah Lane has uh, threatened that if her desk is not exactly how she left it, uh, that she's deleting the NSFW show B. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee you there's more room for her to do her, her trademark dance. I was just going to say, yeah, you should really just send her a tutorial on. Uh, you just, hey, Sarah, it's me, Brian Brushwood. I'm going to show you how to do the Twigossip dance. <laughs> you steady? <laughs> and spin, spin, clap up, left, up, right, and mug. You mean twa gossip? Ho! Oh! <laughs> uh, all right, well, uh, Mike TV is trying to get a hold of Chad. Uh, please. Uh, okay, so apparently he emailed Chad. We'll figure that out. I guess we have time for one more of our shows. Let's do it. What's uh, our last let's one? Let's make twit rock. Buzzwording. Buzzwording. Wording. Yes. Okay. All right. Go on. All right. Uh, so I guess we'll just do it on the set. No, uh, here's we have one more set ready. Yep, we have okay, another set. Yes, then let's let's move let's move set. I'll explain what buzzwording is. Buzzwording uh, is a show where we delve in to the latest tips and tricks for folks who are living either in New York City or San Francisco that are making their way in technology and want a, a leg up in the in the in the networking game and and making friends and having influential partners so that they can uh, continue to uh, keep their phony baloney job. Um. <laughs> As we pull into the, uh, <laughs> the buzzwording set. <laughs> can you move? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Wait, am I even in there? <sighs> <clears throat> Made it. This is a giant awkward chair. I mean, beautiful set. <laughs> I don't. Oh really... my god! I love it. There's like there's like traffic going on behind you. It's amazing. Um, Get a really really wide shot if you can. Uh, all right. So here's the deal. Uh, Brett, we were talking about this uh, before. There's a certain class of people uh, in in the technology world. Buzzwords. Uh, they love buzzwords. They love, uh, 
you know, all, all the the like uh, everybody knowing each other kind of thing. They love they love that element of it. So we're doing a show just for them. Right. Michael Television. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Brian. sorry, there's a lot going on over here. <laughs> Brian. I'm at the Buzzword 8000. The Buzzword 8000. Okay, so uh, uh, what, what do we need to know about uh, mine and Brian's roles, and who are you in this case, okay. Justin? Um, my name is um, Emily Smith, <laughs> and I am a uh, full-time, fun-employed, independent word optimizer. Of course you are. Yes. Uh, Emily Smith, full-time, fun-employed, uh, Word up, and, independent and, word optimizer. And what what am I doing, Justin? I've got knobs. You're, you are interviewing. Uh, well, apparently, well, Brett, I guess is the lead interviewer since he's not turning knobs. Uh, you are, uh, I guess, the engineer that's putting all this together, Brian. And uh, Brett is trying to uh, to pick my brain about uh, all the the latest in in buzzwords and and, and networking. In the entertainment game. Okay, full time, fun employed, independent word opera, optimizer. Optimizer. Op optimizer. Op Emily yeah. Smith. Smith. I, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to be able to remember that one. Emily Smith. Emily Smith. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Do we have an intro, Chad? Yeah. Let's go. go. <clears throat> uh. Wait, what's the show called again? Buzzworders? Buzzwording? Buzzwording. 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 Hey, everybody. Welcome to Buzzwording, the one and only show made for the insiders by the insiders. You know we're better than the rest of you. Deal with it. This show, we're going to be talking with not only my inimitable co-host, Mr. Brian Brushwood. Brian... Hi. Give everyone your title. Uh, I'm the I'm the I'm the blendineer because I blend everything and it comes out synergistic. That's right, our synergistic blenderizer, Mr. Brian Brushwood. And today our our guest is going to be Miss Emily Smith. She is a full-time, fun-employed, independent word optimizer. Nice. And she'll tell us her story now. What's up, bros? <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey, Emily, how you doing? Oh, I'm just having a blast, hanging out at my boring job. Don't you hate work? <laughs> how is work over at Word It right now? Many uh, hot up-and-comers? Number one, I'm just doing my, uh, I'm working as a full-time, fun, employed, independent word optimizer. And uh, I'm trying to keep this hat on my head. You know who gave me this hat? Um, Alex. Uh, Jeff. Alex. Flurgelgerg? You heard of Alex? Alex, Alex Flurgelgerg. Don't you know Alex Flurgelgerg, Brian? Uh, yes. He's, uh, awesome. <laughs> Alex got, uh, he just got a six million round for his, uh, his new, his new, uh, social media bookmarking site. Uh, hit it! And that's hit it with two Q's and a Y. And a y. Yeah, exactly. Two Brian's Q's and a Y. Y. Brian's no. my man. Look at the man on the knives. Yeah. Oh, our synergistic blenderizer knows it all. <laughs> Can't get anything past our synergistic blenderizer. Why? Because we're all better than you. <laughs> all right, Emily, how's work over at Brick going on? That's uh, brick.com spelled 785964Q. <laughs> Oh, man, I'll tell you what, Brick was pretty sweet until they ran out of total fundage. So uh, I had to leave 786514Q uh, to go over to 7564138. Oh, octopus.com. Octopus.edu. Uh, I thought uh. it was Octopizer. With no, 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 but... No. No, last Octopizer, Thursday. Octopizer was funded by Leroy McGillicuddy for $4 million uh, five days ago. It's since gone bankrupt. No, but <laughs> I was at a party at Rhett Magoo's, and he said that Octopizer was the real thing. And 
the the other what was it, the octa what octopus? Oh, number one, that's my bro, bro. See, there's like bros in this world, and then there's bro, bros for real. Like I would literally die for him. Well, are we talking about the same Rhett who bills himself as an executive vice president? No, 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 no. We're talking about the Rhett that bills himself as an executive vice. What? Up? Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That must be the good Rhett then. Octopizer yeah. must be the one. So that brings us to our next question, 78649BWQ, which, again, I believe is pronounced... Holy mm. matrimony. Yes, that's the one. Uh, they just got, got a round of funding from Brent Fickelheiner. Yeah. How is that going? Uh, Fickelheiner Partners and uh, various trusts is actually the VC firm that did that. Uh, number one, what a lot of people are calling this is super slick with a case of <laughs> And what that really means is that you kind of have a regular case of but with a little bit more skid on it. So you don't want, really what you don't want is a lot of eh, skid. You want a lot of eh, eh, kind of like Jason Statham skid. That's kind of what you want more. And that's what Holy Matrimony got before it kind of went the other. It kind of pulled a Paul Rubens. It kind of pulled a, it pulled a Paul Rubens and then it slipped into a pile of dunk, but the dunk didn't have dink in it which means that you really don't want to look at the, in the same way with glasses that have eyeballs in them. I mean, am I making sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I'm picking up everything you say, Emily. And in fact, uh, Brian Brushwood, our, our synergistic blenderizer back there, has a personal project of his own that has quite a bit of Paul Rubens and some eh in it. Brian, do you want to tell us about that project? Um, <clears throat> Brett, I think I've been a really good sport about this show, but uh, this is all self-serving crap. You guys get up there and you just, you make up words and phrases. You announce like you have any idea how to run bills. You're children. You're all children. And you think this is a party. And the money's going to end someday. Dot org is my new project. <laughs> it's going to be huge up in this business. Oh, man, are we ever going to make the money? We're getting funded in yen. I'm talking yen. Oh, man, is it where it's at? Mm. <laughs> Can't wait to see it, Brian. That's going to be it this week for buzzwording. What? What do you got for us, Emily? Take us out. Dude, why is this Santa here? This is crazy! I'm drinking beer! It's the middle of the day! I don't have a real job! Who am I, Jordy LaForge? Beat me up! <laughs> that is a true full-time, fun-employed, independent word operator. That, that, that was almost garbage until Brian came through. <laughs> And that's what I like to call bottom of the ninth, two outs, <laughs> two strikes, oh over the fence. <laughs> the Yankees win. The uh, Yankees what a win. save. <laughs> wow. How are you guys on another set? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good. Hey, so uh, real quick, we're, gonna, we're about to toss it to our house band. Uh, get set, go. Uh, what did we got? To, uh, you, you got the provider? When, when couldn't uh, Yeah, experience? the provider comic yeah. is coming up really Spelled close. Four, we're eight, hoping nine, to be... Two, three, six, eight, <laughs> B. <laughs> you provider. mean to a gossip. <laughs> is there a shark floating behind us? <laughs> of course there is. Why wouldn't there be? This is when an SFW exploded. <laughs> Uh, the provider. Uh, we're almost done, guys. Uh, we should be pretty most, pretty much wrapped up on October 14th and going to print shortly after that. And I'll have a website up with uh, all of the information in case you don't have an issue coming to you because of the Kickstarter. Uh, okay, we should real quick, Justin, uh, talk about the comedy album because we had hoped to be able to announce one thing today, but instead it's going to have to wait until tomorrow, right? Yeah, all right. Uh, so last week we told everybody that uh, we indeed have a comedy album out. It's called Night Attack. It actually went on sale this week. Um, unfortunately, the outlets for which we were counting on them being uh, available have not played ball with us. So right now it's available on, like, Amazon. We want it to be for $2. We don't want to have anybody spend any more money than $2 on this. However... They've incorrectly listed it as uh, more than that, and we don't want to be able to spend it. If you want to buy it, you can buy it on CD Baby, but 
It will be available on Amazon for $2. And what we want to do is for everybody to follow us on Twitter, Justin R. Young for me, at Schwood for Brian, follow NSFW Show as well. And we are going to tweet out when we want everybody to buy, and I'm sure we'll do a live stream to kind of coincide with it. But we want everybody to buy it on Amazon because, you know, right now, you guys... It's already in the... You realize that it's, it's incorrectly listed at $18. It's supposed to be a $2 download for the whole album. It's incorrectly listed at 18 and it's in the top 100 of all comedy albums on Amazon. Yeah. So we think yeah. that if everybody bought at the exact same time, literally, we could make a number one comedy album on, on Amazon. This, this is something we are so excited about that we know you guys want to want to jump right on and get it and we don't blame you uh and and, and I, we won't blame you if you go ahead and buy it on cd baby now uh but uh, but man would we love it if we could all buy it at the exact same moment on amazon and and set a record i mean how great if, if our little silly clubhouse i mean because like right now right now uh, the top albums are Patton oswald's new album and the lonely island and both either came out recently like right. both have been out for a while now so I would really, really, really like to in my life on some level uh, now, I, rub I it in the allow... face that anybody that thought that I wasn't successful, that I had a number one comedy album. Oh, my gosh. And you could help that come true. No, this is it for no other reason. You can make a very petty dream for a very <laughs> hurt Justin Robert Young to throw in the face of oh, his old on. peers and by <laughs> saying never... just casually like, oh, yeah, no, oh, that's right. We were in that troop together. Oh, me? Oh, I'm, it, things have been crazy. Ever since I had that number one best-selling comedy album on Amazon.com, <laughs> things have been a little bit busy up in this business. I'm not going to lie. Now, but, but here's the thing. Now, now Brian, option. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that, that only, would not be referring to the fact that I got kicked out of a comedy troupe called Cleanest River in America that I'm totally cool with now. I, that's totally not an open <laughs> wound in my life that motivates me every single day. Okay. Uh, so if that's what you're talking about, then I no, I don't names, hold the grudge against is. any of those people. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make the following Jake, proposal. Jessica. Dan. <laughs> I, I'm going to make the following proposal. If you do... If you just can't wait, you want to get the album, and I don't blame you. It's really, really funny. We, I've listened to it like four or five times, and I've laughed every single time. Uh, the, go ahead and spend the two bucks at cdbaby.com. But if you don't mind being on Team Justin's Revenge and <laughs> hold on to a buck ninety nine, so that you can also buy it on Amazon when that comes. It's two bucks, and you can make a hateful, petty dream come true for a shabby, miniature Sasquatch faux comedian. Exactly. Well, yeah, this is not me solving any problems. No. This is me just feeding a very, very petty revenge complex. Oh, but how great uh, will it be? <laughs> oh, great. I mean, seriously, like, no, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, no, screenshot? <laughs> hey, world, that's me, number one comedy <laughs> album right there. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. Hmm. Hey, I'm just going to casually post it on my Facebook. Good, I know I'm friends with all of you on. <laughs> that's weird if you see it. <laughs> 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 yes, so uh, that's where we're at with that. You can get it right now on CD Baby or hold off for maybe 24 hours and you'll get it on Amazon. Uh, uh, and, and, by, and by the way, if anybody, if anybody did buy it on Amazon or has an Amazon account, go on Amazon and review it because that also helps with the, uh, with, with, with the rankings. I think that's factored in there. Uh, and more people are more likely to buy it if they see it's a five-star thing. So uh, head on into Amazon and review it and give us five stars. And if you don't think it's worth five stars, then please don't review it and stay away from it. <laughs> and don't tell us. Keep your opinion to yourself. You know, it's like, if you don't have anything nice to say, why don't you not post on Amazon? Uh, <laughs> hey, I believe I heard the dulcet tones of a certain viola out there. Did that, is there, is there a music guest out there? No. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, Eric uh, is stuck in traffic, so oh, well, um, you guys are going to have to, right, have to put up with uh, just me. Look, we'll just wrap up then. We're done. I'm, We're out of here. Yeah, yeah. I thought so. I thought so. I, I knew, I knew he was time. really the guy. I'm basically like riding on his coattails <laughs> strictly <laughs> to the bottom rungs of the indie rock rock and roll world. Yes. <laughs> uh, well, um, ladies and gentlemen, but, Mike from Get Set Go is here. Everybody, digital round of applause for Mike dude. from Get Set Go. We, we're like having some Hello. bizarre contest to see who's a bigger fan of the other team here. It's like every time we, we're, we're like, oh, my God, Mike's in the chat room. He's watching us. We've got to be funny. <laughs> and then we fail epically. It's, it's a little game uh, we play. <laughs> actually, I, I, don't think, I don't think there's ever been a moment where I haven't laughed. I I, so I don't, I don't laugh out loud. I gave up laughing in uh, 2000, I think, six. For Lent. And, uh, That's right when I was yeah. doing nothing. And, uh, and, and and I, for whatever reason, laugh out loud. Like, and I, I again, like, I'll watch movies, funny movies. I'll be like, that's great. But I laugh out loud pretty much consistently throughout your entire show. So, um, again, I think that you guys have a brand of weird, evil madness that uh, <laughs> I'm afraid I might catch. 
but uh, yeah, but it's awesome. It's we, yeah, we, it's, we took it's, our. Uh, we, it was actually dog research because it turns out that if you want to get a dog to obey, it's better to have random reinforcement than reliable reinforcement. You only give them a treat some of the time, so that way we only make you laugh some of the time. So that's yeah. why you watch so hard. You're like, I hope this is the time I laugh. You're like, I didn't laugh this time, but it's okay. You know, I actually uh, play video games. You mean that kind what of gossip? On the same principle. <laughs> 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 All right, dude. Uh, what are you, what are you, you going to play for us today, Mike? You know, so I I I really spent the entire time just making sure I I had the end of the the end of the show song down. Um, so I, I can kind of give it up to leave it up to you guys as to like what you'd like me to play. Um, I can do I can do a silly song. I can do a prurient, salacious song. I can do a. Uh, I could do kind of a, a song for the new record. Whatever you guys want, you let me know. And let, I'll, let, and I'll let's go. One. Let's go with the new record. Let's let's support okay. The, okay. Uh, the the new hotness for you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so just it just came out, um, and <laughs> which is awesome. It, it, so first off, I, I want to thank you guys, and then and then all of the um, the the Diamond Club, because and 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 also the packages have been going out, and they're still going out. It's just it's been taking me a long time to to get them all out, but. Um, uh, thank you guys for supporting us. And, and uh, so, yes, yeah, so this is a song on that record. It's called Race Car, and it, and it goes like this. I'm going places no one else has ever been to. There's no end to the trouble I get into when I'm with you. I'm three steps ahead of all my sorrow, but I promise by tomorrow I'll repay you all the things that I have borrowed. I'm speeding by sunrise, racing through midnight. I try to slow it down, I'll come around. Never gonna lose, I'm a race car driver, the sole survivor. The pedals to the metal as I make my getaway. while we're trying to troll him. This is how... He's <laughs> five <laughs> club till he D-I-E's. My... <laughs> Holy crap. It never ceases to amaze me. Uh, it's actually... We um, were trying when we were doing the, the comedy album. Uh, we were trying to put together... There were a few things that didn't make it. Brett did a thing for us that wound up not making it. And then I did a little uh, sketch where... We're, we're doing a fake trailer that was an inside joke on the album, and I was like, "Oh my god! Like we really, really need is like actual music." And then I'm like, 
oh, we can like actually use any Get Set Go song because I'm sure they would agree to be on it. And I was going through your stuff and it's like the, the quality of your music is amazing and it's just one of the simple pleasures of the, the, you know, the, the horse crap that me and Brian do that we can attract super talented people like you that for some reason happen to like us. Uh, that was an awesome song. Everybody uh, go buy, what, what again is the new album? Fury of Your Lonely Heart. Fury, Fury of Your Lonely Heart. It's, and it's got a picture of a girl that's ripped her heart out of her chest, so that way awesome. you can recognize it. That sounds furious. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's exactly. That's the only time you can actually rip your own heart out of your chest. You actually, actually have to achieve furious in its most primal version. You can't be, you can't be like livid. Livid, you can, you can sometimes break the chest open, but you can't actually remove the heart. It has to be furious. Right, like those uh, people in the Temple of Doom. Those guys. Yes, yeah, yeah, furious. Yeah. furious. They were furious. Yeah, and, and the oh, no, 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 they were Indian. They were Indian. Okay, okay. Hey, now, oh, I yeah, beg that's... your pardon, sir. They were, though. They were Indian. <laughs> it is not Jury of Your Lonely Heart. That was the original title. And yeah, yeah would, that was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. wouldn't sign off on that. I didn't know them yet. Uh, yeah, 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 well, we, actually... we can't... We can, Chad, if you could go ahead and show everyone, we can announce that uh, we do plan to put uh, Night Attack out on Laserdisc. If you'll jump over and show everyone what that looks like. Tony, Tony <laughs> cut this out. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> no, that's not on mine. It's on yours. Tony, leave all this in. <laughs> oh, leave it all. Okay. Wait, where is it? It's, they're posting in the chat room every five I lines. I don't have the chat room. I only have the... Oh, never mind then. You'll never see it. <laughs> <laughs> you, can't, you can't pull it up my, on yours? My computer is totally channel? toast. I don't oh. even have a cursor. It's just like... <laughs> See this? It's I just my it. social security number and uh, <laughs> bank codes. Yep. Uh, all right. Well, well, Mike. Uh, so you guys do your live Ustream performances, right? Or now are you on Justin yeah. TV? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we just moved to Justin TV, and uh, and that's pretty exciting. I mean, I'm still trying to kind of calibrate how the sound is working. So I think the the last time we did it wasn't super super sonically beautiful, but uh, we're getting there. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, uh, if you have not watched uh, Mike and Eric of Get Say Go do their live performances and you like NSFW, you owe it to yourself to go hang out with them. Uh, it is just, it's like just literally having two amazing musicians play awesome music for you on your computer while you interact with them. There we uh, go. On Laserdisc, Night Attack, coming soon. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow, that was a long way to go for that picture, Brian. <laughs> well, they, if, uh, you know what? Sometimes you trust the chat room, and when they post it, like, every five lines, they're like, well, clearly this is worth looking at. And then they're like, you know, like, bad children. Go to comedy grounding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, uh, Mike, you and Eric, uh, the first time that you guys were on, uh, we helped you guys uh, fund the Kickstarter. The Diamond Club uh, just went insane. They, they, they caught Get Set Go Fever and, uh, you know, really, really, really blew up the funding for your new album, Fury of Your Lonely Heart, which everybody should go get. And in, I guess, uh, response or, or thanks, you did the ending song that now plays at the end of every episode of NSFW, right? Yeah, yeah, and, and it was, it's very funny because there were specific, you had specific what words that we had to kind of key in on. It was it wanted to be dreamy and wanted it to be sort of, and it had to talk about the being at the end of the night and everybody said they're leaving. And so, so you gave me kind of the rough framework for which we built the song, but yes. And so uh, Eric and I put it together and I'm going to have to sing the viola part because otherwise it's just not going to feel like yes, it's just, it would just it would just not make any sense. Well, Dude, like, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, wait, 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 wait for one second before we get into it. Uh, uh, Brett, obviously, at Amtrekker. Uh, where else uh, are people going for you, Brett? Uh, that's the place to look for me. You'll find me everywhere else if you find me there. <laughs> You'll find you floating over your head like a certain shark. <laughs> the, the, the land shark. <laughs> the sky. And uh, Brian, uh, where are people going for you? Google Plus, G plus dot two slash wood. Where you're like uh, King S of F Mountain over there, huh? Uh, you know what? Uh, it's funny how quickly I've abandoned Twitter as my favorite place now that I've got a lot of numbers on. Uh, like, I have almost, I'm coming up on twice as many Google Plus followers as Twitter followers. So now all of a sudden wow. I love Google Plus. It's not funny how that works. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> uh, and uh, Justin R. Young on Twitter, um, Google Plus, look for Justin Young. They won't let me use Robert because apparently that won't make me an effective advertising lamb for slaughter for them. So. I'm Justin Young there. Look me up. I love Google Plus, though. Also, uh, 
Fury of Your Lonely Heart is the album from Get Set Go. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike performing the NSFWN song. Take it away, my friend. <laughs> It's time to go and I'm so depressed And I'm gonna spend the rest of the week in bed Until the next NSFW The show is through and it breaks my heart Cause I just can't bear to be apart from Brian and Justin of NSFW Oh, I'd rather die in a fire Than to spend a single moment without Brian Brushwood Oh, I'd rather be dipped in honey and fed to a big ant pile Than do without Justin Robert Young for even a little while Oh, NSFW I love you. Oh, NSFW, I love you. Justin, is your shirt off? It the is show's going to be here now that I'm doing the show in my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> hey, folks. <laughs> like, it's significantly creepier when you're not a character while you're doing that. Yeah, when he's just Justin Robert Young. <laughs> like, hey, guys, what's up? <laughs> Who's hanging out, right? Just me and a monitor, some beers. What? That's a crazy-ass shirt. Y'all do it. Crazy ass shark. Man, that's a crazy ass shark. <laughs> uh, okay. Man, there's a point where it goes from this is a hilarious joke to I'm still on camera. <laughs> <laughs> How do I, how do I extricate myself I'll from tell you this situation? What, dude, you get so many bonus points if you can stand up and be like holding the monitor like, like, ooh. <laughs> Like Austin Powers style? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Awkwardly skitter off screen. <laughs> uh, yes. Look, that was so much fun, and I have no idea how good it was. <laughs> Thank you, Chad, for giving, for modestly panning away from Justin. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm still looking at Justin. Oh. <laughs> oh, I just saw so much more of Justin than I ever seen. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> the chat room says, my eyes. Hello. Hey, uh, chat room, was this show a train wreck or was that as funny as, uh, as it, as it was in our us. minds? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, clearly our in-studio, our studio audience of one really enjoyed it. <laughs> a fun wreck. Great. Oh, my God. <laughs> you mean to a gossip. <laughs> Tony opens. Tony, <laughs> Tony fixes everything. <laughs> Whoa, what is this? What? Ah, uh, Brian! You won't quick wear face. his face like your own. What? I'll grab your ah. face. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never escape me, Brian. Ah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> ah, creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Atticus Binch helpfully yeah, says, says, pretty good, but uh, how about the gumshoe voice? <laughs> <laughs> Hollow the clues, gumshoes. All right, I'm going to get that other. Now you've made me weird about the pink thing. I'm suffering brushwood syndrome. Yeah. <laughs> well, the way I fixed it was uh, we got... More a, whipped cream. We got a cooler no. temperature... <laughs> We got a cooler temperature bulb because, like, mine are way warm. Because, like, these, these kinos are all... They're white, white. They're low color temperature. So, oh my God, it's back. Yes, now it's really flying. <gasps> this is terrifying. I'm going to it's, die. It's swimming through the air. And eating cameras. This is amazing. Uh, they started a joke. 
that sent a plastic shark flying. This is awesome. It just fired it a little. To see, it was flying toward me. <laughs> My God, this is this terrifying. is really creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, don't look to your left. <laughs> it dropped Justin. Oh, no, that was Mame. I dropped Mame. Brian, it's coming this way. This is amazing. This is a dream come true. <laughs> this actually is a dream come true. And let me just say that I peed myself after I had that dream and uh, didn't sleep for another 24 hours. I don't hours. like the way this dream ends, but this, oh my God, this is creeping up on me. <laughs> is it it's... possibly the rape shark? <laughs> oh my God. Brian, is there a shark behind me? <laughs> don't be cool. Just nod if there's a shark <laughs> lurking right behind me. <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> oh, Brett. There's no such things as floating <gasps> twin <laughs> sharks. <laughs> and Brian and Brett just leave their silhouettes into the Pixel 4 studio. <laughs> The show. There's what shark paparazzi out there now. Com. Brian, what happens at Squarespace.com? Uh, well, listen, what if you wanted to report an account of a genuine flying shark, but you didn't want to get a takedown once Reddit blew it up? Where would you yeah. go to host that? What if you were a flying shark and you wanted to do an Ask Me Anything on Reddit? Where would you do have that uh, what, you memorialized? Would, you, you would do Good. that on Reddit. That's no. That's where they do the shut, AMAs. Shut up. <laughs> Put on Squarespace.com. Want to know why? Because I don't know. I, there's really nowhere to go with that, unless I'm being mean or weird. Hey, uh, real quick, is there? I know we've got the code for the discount on Squarespace, but we still want people to go to Squarespace.com/nsfw to set up their their no, joke pages. We don't, need, we don't need them to do that anymore, right? Well, no, no, no. I mean, that's, but I want, that's what we're really good. God, this is amazing. <laughs> I could literally watch this all night long. And we will. <laughs> oh, my God, the menacing look Judging on Judging by thing. the look on John's face, it might actually follow us home. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> it's... <laughs> I think it just... No! Peaked. Welcome to NSFW sto show starring Flying Shark. <laughs> That's this unreal. Is, uh, I'm really amazed by the, uh, the accuracy with okay, which SQ it flies Freak, in our faces. SQ Freak okay. verifies that you do want to go to squarespace.com slash NSFW. Anytime you're going to make a joke page or a funny thing, make sure to use squarespace.com slash NSFW because it does have an identifier in it. Okay, we, uh, are we all set? Do we have all the sets set? Uh, we, we only just, <clears throat> we just don't have the uh, viral video yet, or at least I don't Oh, the have. opening video? Yeah, at least it's, I don't it's have. It's the one you and I shot earlier, and you go until my reaction ends, and then... Uh, until Brian completes. Uh, like like oh. 50, seconds, 50 seconds in. Oh my god, I touched the shark. It's already posted. Oh, where? Where? On Twit, twit and Side. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Sorry. So, Oh, I, okay. okay. I, 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 I was quick, doing uh, a different show when that happened. What? Hold on. Um, I'm just being uh, informed now via the chat room that Mike TV of Get Set Go says that they are they can perform, um, but they're saying that, that they would do the end of the show song. Uh, I, I mean, do we want? I mean, they could do another song and then do the end of the show song. Yeah. No, we would love we would love to as much Get Set Go as we could possibly have. If it were up to me, the show would be nothing but Get Set Go and Flying Sharks. <laughs> okay, uh, real quick. By the way, um, Brian, Halloween or Thanksgiving, which do you want to be our all music episode? Because I feel like we should have a holiday centric all music episode as a new tradition. Halloween. Columbus Day. Columbus Day, <laughs> yes. It will be precious on the 10th, next week. 
Um, but I, I don't know. But are you, I think an all music episode would be really fun to do a cool thing like that. And we'll just be. We should have a, an improvisational music off where, like, listen, all of you have to make a song about potatoes and your secret love affair with them and how you're afraid your wife will discover you. Go. And then whoever makes the best one, someone does a freestyle rap. Yeah. I really am just going to watch this shark. <laughs> it's, it's a little unsettling when it gets quiet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jammer V is good on those controls. On the ones and twos? <laughs> Touch my leg. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're looking for um, cool. a I'm, couple more. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> uh, Chad, can you take my computer here real quick? There it is, right there. <laughs> the little John riding a flying shark. <laughs> Never ending story. <laughs> I am sorry, Brian and Justin of NSFW. You we have decided that you must be terminated, terminated, terminated. <laughs> <laughs> he said it. <laughs>